I bet um, there's been a lot of changes with you personally in the band in the last two years. Can you uh, name uh, something very extraordinary that happened? Something extraordinary that's happened in the, well, the last two years. There's been so much, man. Um, we've we've performed on stage with, with Paul Weller, Mick Jones of The Clash. Um, what else we've done? We've, we've played in front of 75,000 people. Uh, been to Japan, been to Australia, all these yeah, no, amazing we, things. Yeah, we've done yeah. loads of stuff, you know? I don't think as people we've, we've really feel like we've changed our personalities or, or anything about us has really changed, but definitely in terms of just what, what we've kind of achieved and stuff, and you know. Yeah. That, you know. Yeah. Uh, can you name one real high point of uh, the last few years? I mean, I think the high point, we had the fastest selling uh, we had the fastest selling UK tour of 2006. The two uh, number one albums. We've had two number one albums, you yeah. know, that's three high points right there, you know. We've, we played, uh, we actually performed Ghost Town with Jerry Dimers and Neville Staples uh, yeah, for the specials. Yeah. That was a high point. Uh, you know, we performed uh, with, with Paul Weller, like it says, Mick Jones from The Clash on stage, you know. Things like that. There's a lot of high points. There's yeah, been a lot yeah, of high yeah, points. Too. You all almost met all your heroes already? <laughs> We've met a met lot of them. A few of them. We've met a lot of them. There's still a lot left out there. I'm going to find them. I'm going to track yeah. them all down and make them play songs with us. <laughs> Who's left then? Well, you know, I mean, we're going to dig Elvis up. Yeah, we're going to we're going to dig up Elvis. We're going to dig up Elvis. We're going to go to Memphis and revive him somehow. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, but no, there, there's still a lot of people. You know, a lot of people out there we uh, really respect. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did the band change? As well, sorry. How did the band change? The band change. Yeah. I don't know. That, I don't know that we've again, like I say, as people, we don't think we've changed particularly. Uh, we haven't. Um, uh, you know, I think, I think we're definitely still the same people. We do we do the same things in the same way? But you know, maybe our uh, horizons have broadened a little bit. You know, maybe. Um, in what we, way? Well, in the way that we'd never been anywhere before. You know, we were from Staines, which is a small like town outside of London. You know, which we had a sign. I'm not saying we had a small town mentality, but we didn't know anything else. You know, we didn't. Uh, you know, we didn't. That that was it. And now, now, two and a half years later, we've toured the world. You know, we've been to so many different places and seen so many different things. That you brought your horizons are going to broaden out. You know, we've met we've met people all over the place. That you know. Um, I think as a band we got better as well as a, as a live band doing night after night of gigs. We've yeah, come yeah. a. It took Ross a, about two years to be able to like play the chords properly. Yeah, yeah, you know? I can I can play a D and A and an E now. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. No, no Still worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you all, all still live in, in Staines? Yeah, we do actually. Yeah, yeah just same house. Um, I've, I've, yeah, I've actually moved to a town. You got Staines, and Ashford is next door. I've actually moved to Ashford. Wow, so, uh, it's about one minute away. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. But, but um, um, yeah, no, we, st we still live in the same place because uh, basically, well, at one, all our friends are still there, you know, and if you, if you go back home after being on tour, we're going to be on tour now. We're going to be out doing stuff now for probably a year and a half, maybe even two years, you know. And um, my mum lives down the road, so I can pop in there for dinner. Get, get your washing any done. Any day, yeah, get my washing done. And also, we just <laughs> haven't had the time. As soon, as soon as we finished touring on our last album, literally as soon as we finished touring, we went and uh, we started working the studio. You know, we didn't. Yeah. If we wanted to move house somewhere, we there, there was there was no time for that. Yeah. And if if say you move to Paris, you come back off tour, you'd be there. I'm like in that, Paris on your own. <laughs> so you know what I mean. It's, yeah. it's a bit. Uh, 